So this is the SE77 Tormek uh, jig for sharpening chisels and plane blades. And there were two pieces of it that I felt needed to be enhanced. So I'm going to talk about two jigs that I 3D print to make this easier. And in particular, one of the ones to make sure that these two knobs, which are used for setting the camber on the blade, are set correctly and not having to rely on these two witness marks, which I, I think are just a little bit too crude for getting a truly um, square edge and not have it skewed. If you want it skewed, you can skew it, but if you wanted it truly square, I think this is not sufficient for achieving it. <clears throat> and I've been able to get there. Uh, this shows you one of my favorite chisels. And you, know, you can see that I've got a good square edge there. There's no light coming through. So that's what we want to try to achieve. I'm going to show you the two jigs that I've got. And I'm going to post these out for anybody to 3D print themselves. So hopefully you can uh, get to be as good at sharpening your chisels as I think I am. Thanks. The first aspect to this is how do you set the tool up to be um, for the right distance. And so there are two pieces that I use, and I use this regularly because I thought this was a really simple technique. This is the TTS 100, which is commonly used for wood turning tools and carving tools. But it's really nice because you can set, and, and I just use the B setting, Bravo, here. I don't use the Alpha one for this. But the, the Bravo setting, you set it here, and you can see there are the two marks that certainly, certainly show that my distance is set correctly for the B um, the bee hole. So, and what came on these were the settings for 75, 65, and 55 millimeters, and that works well for turning tools, but it doesn't translate well for carving tools, particularly for chisels. So, in working with a number of people on the Tormek forum, I was able to 3D print this jig. Give me a second, I'll show you. That makes that easier. So this is what I call the projection jig, and it uses the TTS-100, which is this piece. Uh, and we can use it for, again, the SVD-186 would be used for gouges on carving or on wood turning. But we can also use it now for the SC-77. And so these three standard settings make it so that your projection is correct for those given angles on your chisels. So to do that, let me just show you. We're going to line it up here. And... Loosen up a bit. And I'm going to cut, sharpen this one to 30. So I make sure that it's over here against the stops on this side. And the projection is set to here for 30 degrees. So that will give me a nice 30 degree angle on this. Tighten it down so it doesn't move. And so what I do then. Well, it seems I put it in upside down, so forgive me. There, now it's correctly placed into the jig and we're aligned with the stops. So at this point, we can now grind our tool with confidence that we're gonna end up with a 30 degree angle and that bevel will be correct for what we wanna use this tool for. Okay, and indeed, that's what we get. So, that's great, but one of the difficulties that I often see on the forum is people are saying, well, this angle here, let me take it out of this jig. Is oftentimes skewed. It's not at that perfect 90 degree angle. And I've always suspected that that was related to these two screws. And these are the ones that you use for setting camber, as I said, but I'm just not satisfied that this witness mark is sufficient. So I've got another jig I'm gonna show you, and it's a really simple one, but I think it does the trick well 
to make sure that these are making this align correctly. So give me a second to set that up. Okay, so this jig is just a simple piece that's 3D printed with a scale on it. And these uh, scale bars are one millimeter wide. Um, and what this allows me to do, and you can see I've just stuck it in here on the USB with the uh, SC77 jig. So what I want to do is I want to align the side of my chisel, either side, it doesn't really matter which, with one of these bars here. And it's uh, designed to be able to do this from the operator side. You're seeing it from the other side. But what I can do, and I'll show you how this happens here, if I loosen these, let's say that I just tighten it a little bit, you can see that it's starting to skew over now and create more and more of that skewed angle simply by adjusting these. So what I want to have is a way to make this aligned well and tightened and get it so that the side is perfectly aligned with one of these edges there we go and now this side is perfectly aligned with each, with one of these lines which tells me that at least this side is going to be um, giving me a perpendicular uh, grind there and once I've set these you know they're locked down and unless I need to set a camber I just leave them there you can check them periodically but um, it's it's not I don't think necessary unless it gets bumped. But this jig is just a simple jig. Uh, it's got holes in it to be able to um, set it on the USB and go to town.